Hi guys. It's Mrs. Holbrook and Baby Echo. And we're ready for some foundation. And today, we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. All right, what do you think? You ready to have a good day and a good warm up? Great. So remember, I'll say a sound, and then when Baby Echo looks at you, repeat it. A apple a. Ah. B b. E ed e. Eh. G g. I itch i. Eh. M m. Mm. O octopus a. Ah. U up a. Uh. V v. W h w. That's right. Digraphs, baby. C h ch. S h sh. T h th. I n g ing. A n g. Ang. Ong. Ong. Ung. Ung. Great job on that. And next, we are going to do some trick words. And how this works is that you need to try to be me to say the word. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Your. I, they, are you beating me? Come on. Was, one, said, from, have, do, does, say, says, see, between each. All right, awesome warm up, everybody. And today's an exciting day because we are going to be learning something new. Dun, dun, dun. So far, when we've been talking about vowels, we're talking about short vowels and their short sounds, right? We usually put the little brev over the top when it's a closed in syllable because it's short. Well, today, we're going to talk about long vowel sounds. Take a look. Here's a long sound. A safe A. You try. Yeah, this is a safe. It's a place where you keep your money. And the long sound for A sounds like in safe. It says A. The vowel says its name. Repeat after me on this one. E, Pete, E. Good. Long sound, just the vowel's name. I, pine, I. O, home, O. And now U has two long sounds. We have U, mule, U. You hear that? It just sounds like you. But sometimes it's hard to get the whole U sound out and it gets chopped off a little. So sometimes it sounds like OO in rule. U, rule, OO. Okay, so long U can say U or it can say OO. Listen closely to me doing it. Let's tap out rule. Er Sorry, mule. Let's tap out mule. Mule. It says you, mule. But now let's tap out rule. Er, ooh. It says ooh. Okay. What does rule mean? Yeah, it's something you have to do. So this picture is showing the boy is chewing gum and it's crossed off because in school the rule is that there's no chewing gum. So that's what this picture is here to help you remember. 
do not chew gum. It's a class rule. Okay, so I want to review a closed syllable with you. Watch as I build this word. All right, let's tap it out. Hop. The word is hop. Um, how many taps were there? Three. How many letters? Three. Three sounds, three taps. But now take a look if I add something. Now listen to me tap this word. Oh, hope. This word says hope. It still just has three sounds and three taps, but it does have four letters, okay? So when we have an E at the end, it makes the vowel say its name, right? It doesn't say ah, like octopus and hop. When the E's here, the vowel says its long sound, oh, like home. So let's tap it one more time. Tap it with me. Hope. Hope. This E, it's the busiest letter in the whole alphabet because it constantly is volunteering to just help out. It's like a helper letter. So it, it just stays here and it keeps its mouth closed and it helps this word so that the O can say its name. The, the E is silent. It jumps right over the consonant to give the O the long sound. So it says O, hope. Let's practice a little more. Okay, take a look at this one. What does this word say? Can you tap it for me? Yeah, this says cap. What do I need to make it say cape? If I want this to be the long sound, what do I need? Yes, I need that volunteer letter, that silent E to come at the end. So it's an A, a consonant, an E. And this is the silent one, jumping over to make the A do it from short sound to being a long sound. Okay. Let's practice reading some more of these words. Okay, this is a closed in syllable with a short vowel. What does it say? Fat. Now, if I add this E, what does it say now? The E jumps over the A, the T, and tells the A to say its name, so it says fate. Very good. Let's try another one. What does this one say? Tap. And if I add my silent E, what does it say now? T ape. Tape. Good. We're changing the syllable type and we're changing the sound of the vowel. Let's try one more. What does this one say? Gobe, kind of a silly word. And if I take off the E, now what does it say? Gob, the vowel sound changes from long to short on that one. Okay, now there's something else we need to look at. Let me build this word right here. B, U, G. Okay, what does this say? Bugs, very good. What sound, well, actually we shouldn't have this kind of S. Since this is the base word, we should have our suffix S. What sound does the S make in the word bugs? Yeah, it says 
Z. Very good. So I need to show you two other words. Take a look. So just like S sounds like Z when it's a suffix, there's a, another time. This word says er eyes, rise, like rise and shine. So the S sounds like a Z here too. And this one says wise, wise, like you're wise and very smart. So in both of these words, the S sounds like Z because it's between two vowels. So when can S say Z as a suffix? Or when it's between two vowels. Those are the times S says Z. Okay, so I need you to know that whenever we see a vowel, a consonant, and an E in a syllable, it's not a closed syllable anymore. It's called a vowel consonant E syllable. So let's look at one and talk about it. This word, and you would say, is it a closed syllable? Nope, because there's two vowels. So it's a vowel consonant e syllable. So first, we scoop the whole syllable, the whole breath of a word, and then we label it underneath. Like when it was closed, we put a c for closed. We put v dash e, vowel consonant e. That's what the dash is. It's whatever consonant is there, and then. Since it's vowel consonant E, we know the O makes the long sound. So we put a straight little line, and it's called a macron. Try that word, macron. The macron tells us that the O is doing its long sound, O. And the last thing we do is cross off the E because the E is silent, er, ope. That helps us to sound it out, okay? And what I need you to do now is add some of these examples into your student notebook. We learned a lot of new stuff today, so your notebook is a spot to help you keep track of it. So I want you to first get your notebook, pause if you need to go get it, and in the very beginning, in the sound section, you're going to flip until you find that vowel consonant E page. Those are all those new pictures we learned today. I want you to pause and color the HN and be saying the sound as you color it. So color the safe and be saying A, safe, A. It's going to help you remember it. And this is a page you could always look to if you forget the sound. Okay, pause until that's done. Okay, now that you're back, we need to go to the rule section. It's going to come up soon, um, two pages after in most notebooks and there's vowel consonant E syllables. It tells you the rules at the top that we went over. And then we are going to enter four examples and practice marking them. So the first word that we're going to write is cave. C-A-V-E. You're gonna write it right on the page like that. And then we're also going to mark it. You'll scoop it, write it vowel consonant E, Cross off the E because it's silent, and last, mark that A. It's a long sound. Pause on the screen right here until you enter this in. Okay, we're going to enter three more words here. Wise, plain, and the word like. I'm going to put all of these words up so that you can copy them and make sure you have them perfect. So really take your time and pause the screen until you get them all finished. Okay, cave, wise, plain, like. Scoop the syllable, cross off the E, label the syllable, macron over the I. Okay, pause here and finish your entry. And that's it for today. Great job.